Dear Rosenwrights, as you know, volunteers play an essential role in our beautiful community. In this unprecedented time, their contribution is more crucial than ever. With courage and good spirit, they help comfort and entertain those who need it the most. They bring happiness and hope. The town of Rosemar would like to highlight the invaluable contribution of five citizens and two exceptional community organizations, the recipients of the Honored Citizens Award. It is my pleasure to introduce Anne Gillard, who's been selected to receive the Honored Citizen Award. Originally from Newfoundland, Anne Gillard distinguished herself through her social commitment from the moment she moved to Rosemere. She's had a career in the catering business and knows what it takes to prepare balanced meals. And this is why she has chosen to share her beautiful profession, feeding others, those who need it most. She prepares and cooks, partly at her own expense, 80 meals for the homeless each week. She then brings them to the Old Brewery Mission in downtown Montreal and Resilience, Montreal. She cooks Christmas meals for Meals on Wheels, and she cares for many seniors, does their grocery shopping, and accompanies them to medical appointments. In order for seniors to attend Rosh Hashanah, she bought tickets to the Festival of Lights and gave them away. And naturally, she took them there. Even when she travels, she doesn't forget about others. On her last trip to Cuba, she filled her suitcase to the brim with items to donate to a local church, eyeglasses, clothes, toothbrushes, soaps, deodorants, and other goods that are hard to get locally. I'd like to kind of recount a couple of stories right now. And the first one happened in, in July of 2019. Uh, I got an email from Anne, and at this, at this point, she was running the St. James uh, Church Kitchen. And uh, at St. James Church, they cook for uh, many people once a month, uh, breakfasts and dinners, and also host the Wednesday drop-in. And she made me aware uh, that uh, she needed a letter from the mayor, who just happened to be on vacation, uh, and within the next week or so, in order to qualify for a Service Canada grant for kitchen improvements for $25,000. I wrote the letter in a hurry, and uh, she was appreciative, and we found out uh, later on in the year that the St. James uh, United Church had received a grant for $25,000 worth of uh, kitchen upgrade. One other thing, and it's also a little bit more personal, a few days after my mom passed away in December, Anne came to the door with the tortier, and uh, it really touched uh, myself and the family at a time when we were going through some difficult periods. So I uh, wanted to thank her for that. Uh, one last little thing that I'd like to touch on. One time I got an email from somebody who was on that distribution list, and this is only maybe two months ago, uh, had said that Anne had fallen and broken her arm. So an email went out and said, you know, it's, it's time for, for the community to help out Anne. Um, so uh, I think, Anne, you should be touched by the people that you do touch. Um, I went over the next day, and uh, with her arm in a sling, she was cooking and managing food her next trip uh, to take stuff down to the homeless. She was uh, thinking about others. So, Anne, uh, congratulations, and uh, you're most deserving. And uh, thanks for all that you do. So you know that you're on nomination, right? Okay. Uh, basically, uh, recognizing everything that you've done for the community. Um, I've announced to you that you basically won the award. Oh, I won. You won the citizens, uh, the honorary citizens, uh, you, you, you definitely have one. So you're one of the six winners. Oh, wow. Uh, so. uh, obviously, you don't do it, uh, you know, for, for any reward or anything. You just do it because morally it's the right thing to do. You just don't know where life is going to lead you. So, you know, you could be on the receiving end of somebody's largesse at some point. So uh, uh, yeah. on my behalf, on behalf of all City Council, but especially on behalf of all Rosemarets, uh, we wanted to thank you for everything you've done. And uh, thank you for whatever you're going to keep on doing, because I know you're going to keep on doing it. Oh, I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, it's either busy, better to be busy than bored. And and busy helping people is it helps me sleep nights. You can sleep mm -hmm. with a clear conscience when you've done at least one good thing during the day. Totally agree. Wonderful. All, all the best to you. And you do more than just feed people. No matter where you go, you always find someone to help. We thank you for caring for others and feeding them in so many ways, physically with hot, well-balanced meals in their hearts because they know they matter to someone. This food for the soul is at least as important to them. And on behalf of myself and all Rosemary's, I thank you. <laughs>